What is going on, gang? I am Zedmot. That is Zedmot in your creator boost, which tends to expire. It's frustrating, especially when you have multiple accounts. I don't blame you. I forget to put my own creator code in at times. Anyways, we are going to be skipping the Lasertrons today. First of all, we're going to check that shop. Nothing in there. I have the schedule written down, but I just check that shop every single day to make sure nothing is in there. This is my New Zealand account created when on vacation in New Zealand, currently topping the New Zealand leaderboard. It is the dirtiest, dirty, dirty four engine room base. I have not seen another base this dirty yet. If you have, please send it to me. I had to like cobble this base together on my own using some inspiration from Mr. P and a few other players. So this is my base. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. I literally just built it, avoided putting you guys through that um the rocket launchers are added on the shock launchers are added on otherwise we've got basically every defense there is available we've got green mines maxed mortars now a couple people talking about this choice node cannons are the way to go they're going to kill all sorts of heavies they're also going to kill rocket choppers which are incredibly incredibly quick so um, people have been talking, at least one person saying mortars was the right choice. Cannons for me. My other account has flamethrowers, which is also working well. Um, also, probably should be changing this one to cannons, potentially. But I got the same number of defenses as Mr. P, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, just going to trust his wisdom, his bases are top, top notch. Switch that mortar in to be boom cannons. So that is fantastic right there. You'll notice that I've got that shock launcher up to tick four, which gives us two shock launchers. No boost on the troop damage at this point. Probably should, but I wanted to get my shock launchers up to have that second shock launcher instead. 3.85 million tokens thrown into rocket launchers. So many tokens into defenses. Now, a lot of other players at the moment are going and getting rifles, and then after that, they're going and getting shocks, and then they're going and getting Kavan. So... The meta will be changing soon. Those players will start to be seen on your maps. We're just going to give it a go. I don't have a heck of a lot of offense, primarily focusing on defense. So my attacks here are not going to be awesome. But we will show some replays of how my base does, possibly make a few tweaks. Now, we should be able to get all of these engine rooms. This person doesn't have rocket launchers or shock launchers. Whistle tooth there. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that or not. So... I'm just going to go super duper slow. That flag's a little bit close for my liking, so we're going to use a flare. Just a note that flare overrides flags. That should be well, well known by everyone at this point, but I figured I'd throw it out there. Now, as soon as the cannon's gone, we're going to get some rifles out there. The key to this loadout for me is just absolutely, absolutely delaying and delaying and delaying and sending those... Uh, bombardiers and rifles bit by bit basically as soon as my warriors get to the top of that ramp i throw some more warriors it is that simple not not a heck of a lot of magic here you see we've got our warriors getting to the top of that ramp gonna throw out one more set of warriors not gonna worry all that much about those boom cannons at this point our warriors should be able to get us in tight at this point but we're going to be saving our gunboat energy, planning things out a little bit as our warriors get in there, getting pulled a little bit to the right, which is not super duper awesome, but saving our gunboat energy right now. There we go. In come the warriors, giving us a bit of coverage. They're literally just a meat shield at this point. That is their only job at the moment is to get shot, shot in the face. We've got one engine room down. Realistically, if we can get two down, what I've been doing is I've been flaring in and then seesawing out, just trying to not let them get in the range of that other boom cannon. Just lots and lots of low level flares at this point. As soon as that machine gun goes down, you're going to guess exactly what we're going to do. Flaring onto that boom cannon and then flaring the heck back out, getting the heck away from those machine guns. Oh, missed a little bit too early. That's where our barrage comes in. Now, the problem with bombardiers is you need at least three of them to be able to get anywhere near a boom cannon. If you only have two, you are done for. So I need to treat these guys like they are made out of paper. 
lead? What's that expression? So we should, in theory, be able to get all of the remaining engine rooms, but we're going to have to be very, very squeaky, squeaky clean. So as soon as something turns towards our troops, need to be on that flare button. That's why I'm back to that annoying tap, tap, tap business. And now, next up, we need... Come on, don't hit... Don't... Oh, man. See how I said... This was just not good. So at this point, we're just going for the win. And how we're going to do that is by getting rid of that final boom cannon. Um, not going to have enough gunboat energy to do that. So we're just going to go for percentages, clear percentages, going for... I'm not even going to get the cannon. So at this point, I probably should have just retreated or let them go get that machine gun. But we're just going to watch our last bombardier die. Gross. Just not good. That was a complete and utter fiasco, but we got the percentage, and that's, honestly, that's what's going to move me up until I can get some more troops. Just going based on the percentage. Hoping, as long as I can get two engine rooms, should be able to pull out the win most times. Now, they're coming in with the big dudes, heavies and bombardiers, and they're just cycling heavies in. Heavies and bombardiers clearly have more health than warriors and bombardiers. Warriors are not meant to be a tank. They are meant to be a damaged troop, and we're using them as a tank. So those rocket launchers not doing all that terribly, terribly well. Now, one other quick note. Mr. P's base does have the Doom Cannon. I do not have the Doom Cannon. That's going to be my next choice is whether I go get that Doom Cannon or go get another troop. And you see, like, right there, they got three engine rooms. We're drawing them to that right with that forward one. Oh, and the barrage. I'm in kind of impressed they managed to barrage that back engine room down. Guessing Fiasco has max level barrage. It's a lot of tokens that I have put into my rocket launchers that I can't use anywhere else, unfortunately. And again, I'm just going left ramp, super, super chill, super, super slow. And this person's boom cannons are in far, far better spots. That one that one mortar to that right-hand side, I believe that was this base, um, drawing our troops offside to that right, which allowed the boom cannons to just shoot them square, square, square in the face. Now we're going to drop this boat of warriors slightly to the left, hoping that that will drag them right into that boom cannon, shortest path, all that fun stuff. And then, um, realistically, I feel like I should probably be dropping all my bombardiers early, early on. Now... If you're wondering why I'm going this left ramp, I'm just finding that the left ramp gives me more percentage and more time to farm gunboat energy. So we should be able to just cruise on in here. I'm going to go like this. Three barrages should get rid of that middle back boom cannon. Sometimes you end up getting unlucky. I've had it happen only like once or twice where you don't get, you get like the boom cannon down to like four health. But as a general note, you should be able to get three barrages with tick, I think I have tick three or tick, I believe I have tick three barrage on this account. I'm getting that down. Now we're going to get this flare out there right there. There's not a lot of exciting stuff happening on these attacks. Like it's literally just pure and utter attempt at survival. That's all I'm doing. So if you're watching these attacks going like Zed, what in the heck is this? I agree a thousand percent. I have way, way, way more fun on my other account. My other account, by the way, do consider subscribing, getting Rocket Choppas next. I think um, you still got to decide if I'm going to go Rocket Choppas or if I'm going to bite the bullet and go back and get rifles and Kavan and shocks and all that sort of jazz. Lots and lots of options this season. And a bunch of them are working. It's just a matter of figuring out which one is going to get us into um, Diamond first so that I can park, because that's all I'm after on at least one of these accounts. I want to just get an account into Diamond. I am very, very late on the game this season. I say very, very. It's not super late. But at this point, we should be able to get all of these engine rooms. Now, little issue I have with warships this season. I'm fairly confident that... A number of times our players' opponents have retreated, but we have not seen... Oh, I didn't see that last boom cannon up there. I said I'm going to get all the engine rooms. Not the case. We might just not get all of them. Need to avoid that boom cannon right now. Booyah. Actually got the shock. I mean, the flare out this time. Uh, we have three bombardiers. You need three bombardiers to get an engine room. I mean, to get a uh, boom cannon down. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad, bad, bad time. And at this point... 
it's going to be touch and go. So right now, as soon as that machine gun's down, we need to flare that boom cannon, get three bombardiers chucking on it, and hoping, 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 come on, there we go. Boom, shaka, laka. Like I said, you need three bombardiers to get a boom cannon down. Can't do it with two or one. We're going to get all of their engine rooms in a completely and utterly unsexy attack. If you guys have a sexier attack, a more fun attack, without shocks, without smoke, um, I would love, love to see it because these things are just soul draining watching your bombardiers take down an engine room with 24 seconds left. Look at that. It says opponent is attacking. And when we go to this screen, they're already done. So... Would I have retreated after I got that third engine room? Yes. CKD, if you're out there watching, I'm sorry. It didn't say you retreated, so I wasted a whole bunch of your time. But I, there's times where I think the opponent has retreated, and then suddenly they get the last two engine rooms, and I feel like a dum dumb. So never taking the foot off the gas, never taking your foot off their head. Uh, just push them under that water. Get the win, move up, because you're already three minutes into a slow slow attack you might as well spend another another minute now doom cannons i hate doom cannons i can't wait to get the doom cannon i am going to spend all of my gbe on that doom cannon and i think it's gonna not go down like we just look at that see how i said sometimes you don't get it just missing a rocket you end up with 13 rockets hitting instead of 15 rockets hitting and then you just watch and cry as your troops just get obliterated. Just like that left-hand side bombardier is about to do with that boom cannon coming in. So, um, defensive, offensive, let me know what sort of meta you're running and what you think about it. Because I'm finding that every time I go on the defensive side, um, it's painful and it's frustrating. But there are ways to win there, so it's kind of like you have to sell your soul for some wins. As an offensive player, that probably isn't fair to say those kind of things, but I am not a defensive player in any aspect of Boom Beach, so it's very, very different for me, and I'm very, very biased, and that's kind of the reason why I do it. That's why I make a defensive loadout, because I feel like I'm not defensive enough in Boom Beach at times, so... Um, just trying to get a little bit... Oh, man, I flared back too early. That was awful. I'm going to not get any engine rooms here if I'm not super, super careful. We're going to flare that Doom Cannon right now, and I'm not going to have enough gunboat energy to flare back. So just massive, massive... I'm going to leave that attack in there. Um, squiggles, I sucked. You win. That was awful. Speaking of soul draining, like just awful. We're going to leave, like I said, I could give you a replay of only wins, but I feel like I owe you guys some transparency showing you what I've been doing on warships. And that includes the terrible, terrible, terrible attacks. Um, probably, I'm almost certain I should be going from the right hand side this time. I've already dropped my troops though. Just brain dead simple, trying to keep things moving forward. And as a result, making a few mistakes along the way. I'm going to throw a barrage on that boom cannon, hoping that our bombardiers go, oh crap, damaged building, let's target that puppy. Whether or not that pays off or not, we're going to find out very, very, very soon though. Come on, bombardiers. So, um, yeah, curious to hear what you guys are doing on the warships, how you're liking this season, and if you think you're going to get to Diamond or Legendary or a higher rank than you've previously gotten, would love to hear that. I love to hear success stories in warships. There are just so many different metas this season. Um, I've been taken down by heavies, by rocket choppers. There are so many different ways to play this season, and... I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of many of them, but there are lots and lots of ways to play this season, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's a frustrating thing, but um, it, it's better. Last season, it was all about the early tech lead, and this season, I gotta say, it's not so much about that. It's players who are coming from behind can catch up, which is kinda nice, but at the same time, my goodness, warriors and bombardiers, who would have ever imagined such a thing? Like, this season is one for the ages. It's, and that's kind of the deal with warships. It just turns out that all of a sudden, Kavan is useful. 
Kavana was not useful in the main game 98% of the time, but suddenly you get into warships and you need to start thinking outside the box. And I gotta tip my cap to the players that figure these things out. Um, this troop combo is just made out of necessity. Not a lot of things needed to figure that puppy out, but overall, just so, so much silliness involved this season. Getting rid of all of the mines because we know we're going for that final boom cannon. That final boom cannon has a massive target on its face and it is taking down a number of our troops right now, as is that sniper tower. We're down to four. See how I said? Need to get these puppies down. Need to get the heck out. Come on. Come on, sniper tower. Oh, man. This is... Again, down to the wire, down to the absolute, absolute wire. We're flaring that boom cannon right now, getting our troops in on it. And because of that corner, come on, it's going to be so close. Come on, there we go. Again, down to that one final bombardier that I hope it's that same guy. Like, realistically, it's the same guy. He knows exactly how to stay out of range, puts his buddies out in front, gets them shot in the face, and then pulls out the win. That MVP solo bombardier. Look at that though, the base standing up, this person only got one engine room, and if I can't get at least two engine rooms, I'm doing something wrong, so should be able to keep on winning. I'm not going to drag you guys through this push though, Serum, Speed Serum, let's have a look and see what Speed Serum had to do here. What troops are you using, Serum? All heavies, let's see how the heavy rush does. Oh, never mind, there's Zookas in there. Heavy Zooka rush. Barting out the shock launcher, and then our shock launcher and boom cannons and rocket launchers just melting their face. It's amazing just how much damage those rocket launchers are doing. Kavon getting shot in the face, and down goes Serum. Anyways, that is all for me. That is the video of the day. Next time we talk, I will be in Diamond on this account. Um, then it's just a matter of deciding which account is going to go higher probably this one just because there's so much defenses so many defenses and such high level defenses like i said those rocket launchers are 3.875 million tokens just to get maxed silly 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 um like i said i'll talk to you soon as always though thank you for coming in hit me up in the comments let me know what you thought about those attacks if you saw something silly something stupid something i can improve I know I need to go from the right shore a little bit more often, but uh, that win-loss log, not as good as it should be. I definitely need to clean things up a little bit, but this base starting to crush some skulls. My previous base was awful, awful, awful. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmon. Peace.